Good morning. So today I want to um, carry on where I left off um, yesterday um, and just um, fill out the get goals API test. We did a, um, a single record return. Now I want to do no records and multiple records and just make sure they work. Um, I think the first thing I need to do though is finish off the first one. What's going on there? Hold on a sec. Oh yeah, it's had measurements. Where's the go. Okay, so I started um, just testing the value that was returned from a single get. I just want to fill in a couple of values here to what we expect to make sure that we're not getting any duff data. So we, so far we've got the ID, the goal ID, and the member ID. Um, and I left the login in on purpose. Obviously, didn't just forget to take it out before I committed. Um, so now I need the verb, value, prefix, suffix, end date, and then reason. Um, okay, so usual verb, value, prefix. and then create that, update that. And then it should close off, I believe. Yeah. So that should be uh, object finished and then the array finished. Okay. So let's stick in some data here then. We have an expected verb.
بله that sixty four bit position, yeah, okay. See how that goes. That'd be interesting to see that. I think that's the first time we've probably returned that. Did we do? We haven't done any other tests of the returned values. So I think it's about time. Sort of failures. Yeah, all we've returned is goal ID and stuff, so yeah. Uh, we I don't know we are we using a prefix? But I think we'll um stick in the value anyway. No, no prefix, but we are using suffix. But I'm probably going to copy and paste this a bit, so we'll just do it quite clean now. All right, end date's going to be interesting. So I guess I'm going to need to yeah, I'll need to do that. Let's just take that bit here. It needs to be um, a timestamp. So we're hoping it's what we're getting back. Um, these will be the same, so it there and there and now we're going to be stuck because I don't think we have yeah we're going to have to do we have to take them out and put them in. Okay, so we need to pull them out of there in a sec. All right, I'll just finish this bit off here. So we'll have updated at Created. And then here we'll have the 
reason again. So I need to create Okay, so we should have everything green with any luck. Build in, updated that, created that, got a reason, end date, suffix, prefix, value, verb, member ID, and then call ID we already had. Okay. Let's see if that format has worked. Fail. I need to compare that then. Let's see what happened. Let's see what we actually got.
the most common stuff after the suffix. Pass. Okay. Just doing, I just want to do a quick test. I want to see whether the formatting is collapsed or not. Don't think it does. So but I just want to check whether I can do this or whether those uh, new lines are going to be embedded. Because I don't know. Wow, well, okay. It's not the same. There it is. It's a shame because it would be nice to be able to format it. Quick test. Okay. Good. Right, next test. Let's do well quick and easy one will be to create two rows. So let's do that. Basically, take the list, but I'll be taking off some of it. I don't need to do that again, do I? It's fine. Okay, test. Multiple columns returned. So now we need a second goal. Do we 
sheet and just duplicate it. Let's create a second one. So I'm just gonna do a quick and dirty here and I'll just, actually, um, is that a good way of doing it? No, oh, it's fine, I'll do it. Um, Different created that as well, just to make sure. And updated. We we'll have time dot now. UTC dot add. Minus one. Zero. Plus one. And here. We'll do. Let's assume it was updated 28 days later. Okay, uh, we need a different goal ID, so let's just uh, grab one. What am I using at the moment? I'm using 2DD blah. Don't think I'm yeah, that one. So let's take that one. Yeah, we'll change everything up so. Actually, I want to do a prefix to my so let's do something sensible. Save. Let's do a big number here as well. Can I do underscores and go go?
Looks like it. Cool. Nice. And I want to do pounds. Don't want a suffix this time. Let's put in there we go. See if that works. So the end date will still be a token date. Uh, but let's Let's make it way in the future. Um, okay, I don't need a plus there, do I? Yeah, but I could do it in, say, 20 years, I could do. Yeah, unlikely, but hey, that'll do. Okay. All right. Oh. Long thing. Should be a dot. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll just do a substitution of comma for two comma. Globally. Oh, I need to change the member. No, I need to leave that the same. That's fine. Let's do that there. It is the same member. Okay. Are we using that? Are we using that? And that, and that. So we're now adding in a different goal ID with a different end date, created that, updated that, which are different from each other now. Now we need to expect different stuff. So this this line's going to get really long. This is not great. I'm going to have to look up um, how to improve that at some point. Okay, let's just uh, let's change this. So. I'll just quickly do that.
Right, theory. That should do it. Same input, different output. Fail. Oh, I do need to do the mock stuff, don't I? That's why. So it's doing... Yep. <laughs> yeah, okay. I need to... Um... I need to redo the, the token check because... It's part of the SQL stuff, so... It has to happen. There we go. That's better. And the second value is good. Save. A million. Yep, so it got that. It's got the pound symbol. End date is different. And I created that and updated that to uh, quite different too. That's good. All right, uh, again, run out of time again. So, oh, yeah, I already did all one test. I was a bit late starting today. So it's going to be a shorty, uh, but that's good. It's good to see that. I do need to find a better way of formatting that because that's a long line. Um, but that's for another day. I wonder if I could feed it in from a file or something. I can't really do it because that is... No. Uh, so, test for those value response when... Test full goals value response when that's it. That'll do. Okay, that's me, time to run. 
Uh, so until next time, take care.